Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be discussed about the loop controls in Java programming language. There may be a situation when you need to execute a block of code several number of time. In general, statements are executed sequentially. The first statement in a function that execute first, followed by the second, and so on. Programming languages provide the various control structures that allow for more complicated execution path. A loop con a statement follows as to execute a statement or a group of statement multiple time and following is the general form of a loop statement in the most of the programming languages. So we have the different types of loop in Java programming language. Fourth one is a for loop and then for each loop while loop and the do while loop. So now we see what is for loop. So for loop, a for loop is a repetitions control structure that allow you to efficiently write a loop to execute a specific number of time. A loop is a useful when you know how many time a task is to be repeated. Now we see the syntax of the for loop. So here it's a for and then here you can initialize then you can give it the boolean expressions and then you can do the updates and then your statement will be right here. So the initializing step is executed first and only once. This step allow you to declare a control variable and this steps end with a semicolon you can see here. So this step end with semicolon remember that. Next the boolean expressions is evaluated if it is true the body of the loop is executed. If the loop will not be executed and controls jump to the next statement, pause the for loop. After the body of the for loop gets executed, the control jump back up to the update statement. It allow you to update any loop control variable. This statement can be left blank with a semicolon. Now we see the boolean expressions. The boolean expressions is now evaluated again. If it is true, the loop execute and process repeat body of the loop and then update step and then the boolean expressions. After the boolean expression is false, the for loop is terminated. Now we see the example of this for loop. So here I just write my class's name is for loop and then I just write public static and void main then a string and a string is arguments and then here I just declare for and for integer i which is equal to 0 uh, 110 so this is a step of initializing now here i just gave it the boolean so i is greater than 1 so here this loop check the statement is true or statement is false and then i start i minus minus so this is a decrement operator and now system dot out dot print and here is a here I just write print line and then the value of I is and then I just close this string here and plus I so concatenate I here. Now you just see the output of it. So proceed and then you can see 
the value of i is 10 because i is greater than 1 so i is greater than 1 so i value is 10 here so the loop so the value of i is 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 7 8 9 so it will be executed 9 times because it start with the value 2 so now now I just gave it the example of infinite for loop so infinite means it will be execute the unlimited number of time so here I just simply make a change like I and I is equal to 1 here and I is greater than 1 so this is the increment operator here so system dot print line and the value of i is and concatenations now i just run this code so and uh, and here i just write i is greater than or equal to one so you can see when i just run this code and the value of i is so it will be run infinite number so this is an infinite loop as a condition would never return false it will always true so the initializing step is set up the value of the variable i is to one since we are incrementing the value of i it would always be the greater than one and the boolean expressions here is i is greater than one so it would never return false this would evenly lead to the infinite loop conditions thus it is important to see the co coordination between uh, sorry the coordination between boolean expression and increment and the decrement operators to determine whether the loop would terminate at the at some point of the time or not so this is the example of the for loop so i just finish this so now we just see the example of the for loop iterate an array so here I just remove this and now after this int array and then which is equal to 2 and here I just write 12 and 45 and 9 so we learn about the array in our next upcoming lectures so I here I just write 4 and 4 integer here and I which is equal to 0 and then I is less than array dot length and then I plus plus so here I just write system dot out dot print and the print line here and array which is i so here i is start with zero as an array index is start with zero two so now we just see the example of i trade and you can see 2 12 45 and 9 so this is the output of i trade in array now we just turn to for each loop in Java. For each is another array traversing technique like for loop, which is introduced in Java 5. It starts with the keyword for, like a normal in for loop, instead of declaring or initializing a loop counter variable. You declare a variable that is the same type as a base type of the array followed by a column which is then followed by the array name in the loop body you can use the loop variable you created rather than using an index array element it's commonly used to iterate over an array or a collection class 
So here is a syntax of the for loop, which is for, and then you can type a variable and then array. Okay, and then you can write this statement using WAR, VAR means a variable. So now here we just uh, see the example of for loop. Now here I just write public static and void min which is a string and then arguments then here I just write int and the size of array and marks which is equal to 120 130 140 and 150 and 95 and at the last I just write 100 okay so close this code here and then here I just write int and highest underscore marks and highest marks which is equal to maximum and here I just write marks okay so now so here it's a maximum okay so now I just write system dot out dot print line and then the print line is so here I just click on the print line and the print line here is the highest is core is okay and then I just write plus highest underscore marks okay and here I just close this code and then I just write public and static integer and then maximum and here I just write int and then numbers okay so now I just open my statement and then I just write integer which is max so far okay which is equal to number and the number here is zero now so it is equal to so I just write which is equal to number okay so these are the numbers not a number here it's a numbers now I just write for each loop here so for and int num which are numbers here okay and then here I just write if statement so if number is greater than max so far and the max so far are max so far which is equal to num and then here I just write return value so return value here is max so far okay and a bracket here so I just remove this bracket so its value is return max so far okay now we just check the output for this so we have 120 130 140 150 95 and 100 so it will pick only a highest score so you can see proceed and the highest score here is 150 so this is a example of a 
for each loop. Now we just turn to the while loop. A while loop statement in Java programming language rapidly execute a target statement as long as given condition is true. So now we just check the while loop and this is a program of while loop, yes. So what is the syntax of the while loop? So here you simply write while boolean expression okay and then your statement okay here a statement may be a single statement or a block of statements the condition may be any expressions and the true is any non-zero value when executing if the boolean expression result is true then action inside the loop will be executed this will continue as long as expression result is true when the conditions become false program control pass to the line immediately follow the loop so how this while loop run so first of all it will just check the statement which is the boolean statement or and the method you declare are uh, in your code and then it's come to the code means what you write the conditional code here then it check the condition and then if the condition is true then so it will go to the block code and then go to the conditions and then execute if the condition is false here so it's directly go to the ending point here key point of the while loop is that the while loop may not ever run when the expression is tested and the result is false the loop body will be skipped and the first statement after the loop will be executed now we see the example of while loop so here i just write public static void main and then a string and arguments then i just write integer i which is equal to 10 and here i just write while and i is greater than one and then i just write system dot out dot print and the print line here is i just pass the parameter i and at the last i plus plus so i just save this code and execute it so you can see it's run an infinite number of times so this is infinite while loop now i just write here plus uh, minus minus so i stop this and then you can see 10 9 8 7 6 5 3 2 and it is start from 1 so this is an example of while loop so now we just turn to the do while loop a do while loop is a similar to a while loop expect that a do while loop is generated to execute at least one time means the do while loop if a condition is true or a condition is false it will be executed one time so the syntax of this do while loop is so here i just write the syntax so you can write do and then the statement here and then you can write while loop and boolean expressions here notice that the boolean expressions appears at the end of the loop so the statement in the loop execute once before the boolean is tested if the boolean expression is true the control jump back to to do this statement and the statement in the loop execute again this 
process repeat until the boolean expression is false mean when the boolean expression is false the process will stop work now we just see the example of this two while loop i soon remove this and here i write public static void main and then string and arguments now here i write integer i which is equal to 10 and then i write do so do system dot out dot print line which is i here and then i write i minus minus and then i write while so while here the boolean expression so i is greater than one so now just see the result so you can see 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 so now here i just write the increment operator here for the infinite number of time so you can see it will be executed when this statement is false so it will be stop work so these are the loops in java which are the for loop for each loop while loop and do while loop thanks for watching this lecture see you in